Why is all the petrol gone? <laughs> Hello everyone, back again. Um, in this video we're going to be doing a little bit more work on Mrs. Wynn here. Um, I think the last, oh, where was we? Right, last time I actually moved the car and done the last video, um, I think I noticed when I'd done all the suspension and moved the car around, I noticed that there was one of the rear brakes that was binding on, on the other side. So I think today, I think we'll be getting the wheel off there. Um, get a jacked up, get the wheel off, and get this uh, hub off and see what's going on in there. Um, quick update on the X-Type um, over there right she did a 70 mile round trip yesterday following on from uh, the last video Ooh, a bit shaky there um, with no problem whatsoever she performed really well um, we turned an average of around about 30 to the gallon which for that isn't too bad at all um, I was getting a little bit heavy on the right foot as you do um, but yeah she performed well there was no misfire or anything like that so I think it's safe to say now that she's now good to go go as in you know good to go she's all right so she'll stay with us for a bit longer um, basically till I've got one of these back up and running on the road um, I don't think I'm going to have much use for it afterwards I don't think especially with when I do actually get the black one on the road if that pulls a caravan the Jag's gone uh, there's no point me keeping it um, and if anything I think I'd just much prefer to drive these wedges if I'm honest I mean don't get me wrong the Jag is a lovely car you know brilliant at what it does um, obviously if you're out caravanning and things like that and you're on a, a wet field and things like that that's not going to get stuck whereas probably the ambassador will but hey ho there you go um but i just can't can't warrant keeping the car if i'm not going to use it or not going to want to use it so i think we're looking at later on probably next year we're going to put that car on the market there's no got no use for it really so that's that so right back to mrs Wynn. Uh, yep, we've I've still got lots to do. There's plenty to be getting on with with that car, but um, little bit by bit. Um, so I think on this video, like I say, I'm just going to do that rear brake. See how we get on with that. See what's wrong. I've got everything I need. If I need to put any new parts on there, uh, I've got plenty in stock. So yeah, let's get it jacked up. Get the wheel off. Let's find out what's going on. Okay, so. Um, I've got the got it jacked up, uh, got the wheel off, and if I remember rightly, if we go back to one of the earlier videos, I'd actually renewed all the brake pipes um, from halfway down the car to to the rear. Uh, so I've got new brake pipes all the way through here. Um, now, because I've completely lost my way over the last couple of months. Um, I did, I did intend to do some brake work and never got round to doing it. And so I've refilled the system up with some fresh brake fluid because I didn't bother. Um, only to find I've got leaks, everything. And basically I left everything loose. Um, and I think that was because I was going to renew the front part of the pipes. Didn't get round to it. And basically I knew I was going to do the brakes. So it was like, what was the point of tightening everything up? Anyway, gone round, tightened everything up. Um, now, on this side, it appears to be that the, which, which is the passenger side, it appears to be that the cylinder's actually seized up. Um, I'm pretty sure I have got a couple of new ones in stock anyway. So if that's the case, yeah, we're going to be stripping this down and putting a new one on and brakes if it needs it. So as you can see, the drum is still on i've took me a split pin out and i've just got to wind this off which on this side of the car in the left hand side we've actually got a left hand thread so it's not a case of righty tighty loosey 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 lefty loosey should i say 
it's the opposite way around on this because it's a uh, good old fashioned if it's on the left hand side then it's got a left hand thread so that's all ready to come off my drum isn't actually seized up it's basically just obviously you can hear there's a load of rust in there so okay let me just pull this off and we'll have a look as suspected we've got a bit of rust going on in there and if we look at this back plate oh dear oh so as i um was pulling the drum off uh the retaining um springs and clips actually came off for me and they are really really thin so they're no good they're knackered so those they're going in the bin uh springs yeah i think we can keep them they're salvageable they're no problem um but yeah okay brakes on the hang on let me get comfy brakes on the princess are very very similar um to the rover sd1 setup um so your parking brake cable comes in behind the spring there pulls on the lever here and obviously there's your pivot point and this bit here is the self adjuster uh, which are really really tight in fact this is probably seized anyway so uh, let's get the brake shoes off and I'm pretty sure that this wheel cylinder is seized as well so yep let's get everything off and uh, sort everything out looking at these brake shoes there's loads of life in them they just want roughing up deglazing de-rusting cleaned up and we can use them again uh no problem there but yeah this uh looking at this uh wheel cylinder it's kind of a bit rusty in there um so moisture's gotten in which is fair enough the car's been sat for a very long time so i did expect and yeah it might be savable um I'm not sure what the pistons are on these. If these are the aluminium pistons, uh, this will be a cast iron um, cylinder. If it's not too pitted and rusty, these can be saved um, where you can just buy a seal kit. As long as everything moves in freely and there's no pits in there, then you can just put a new seal kit on that anyway. But as it's seized, I don't think there's any chance of saving it and probably going to cost me more in time. To, to actually do that so i might as well just whip it off bang a new one on okay so there's our brake shoes off uh yeah as suspected that is a little bit seized basically just on the pivot so that can be stripped down cleaned up and we can have that working again so that'll be the self adjuster yeah that's totally seized up so yeah we can sort that out uh, there's nothing really here to go wrong uh, other than just Cleaning those up, cleaning the springs up, cleaning these pivots off. Here on the other hand, hey, right. Um, it might actually be quicker and easier for me to unbolt these three bolts. Take the whole back plate off, we can clean it up. Uh, and then I can work on this in the vice. Um, it's all looking a bit sorry for itself. I probably, I don't think I've got a fitting kit uh, for new ones of these. I think these look a little bit too weak. Um, so, yeah. Great. Let's get this off and have a look. Yes, more rusty stuff. Right, that's this out of the way. This can all be cleaned up. Trying to get the uh, clip off the uh, back of the wheel cylinder there. And that just broke due to it being weak, old and rusty, rotten. Um, so, yeah, okay. No problem. This should just now pull out with a bit of persuasion obviously uh, so let's just get it in the voice now and uh, get it in the shed and start sorting this mess out as i thought i have got a brand new wheel cylinder complete with the sir clip so we're all good there however um i've got about i've got three full pairs of brake shoes and no fitting kit uh, which is a spring clip so Hopefully, I wonder if Alfred's might have some. Uh, who knows? Uh, we'll worry about that later. So the wheel cylinder come out nice and easy. It wasn't too rusted in. So let's get this cleaned up. Let's get it sprayed up. Make it look in there decent again. And uh, 
get the shoes cleaned up and get it kind of put back together so this is the one of the original pins um, I've got the spring there and the disc now the disc is so thin um, even if I was to reshape it I don't think it would retain the pin very well <clears throat> the pins I think uh, I don't really want to use them again if I can help it because they're just way too gone too rusty I mean I can clean them up and see how bad they are which I may do a spring that can be used again however in my little stuff I don't have any new fitting kits because I've already used what I had um, way before I started doing videos on the black ambassador so that's where they've gone however I do have in my stash of spares that I've removed from forklifts because I'm a forklift engineer you do take off bits that are good and you keep them for a rainy day and as luck would have it these fit absolutely perfect into the spring so I can use those that's not a problem I, I do have some new pins but the problem is pins are too long um, I've always wanted to be a blacksmith I wonder I wonder if I can crush the end down cut them to length and see what I... yeah let's do it and there we have two pins that'll do um, it's just a case of heating up the ends I haven't cleaned these up yet but uh, just a case of cutting it to the length that I want heating up the end and just drawing it out on the on the end of the anvil type of the thing of the voice if you know what I mean whatever anyway they work they'll they'll lock into place they turn and what have you uh, that's probably a better way might just need to take a little bit off that one just clean it up a little bit but yeah they, grow, they, do, they work that's good enough for me that'll do as long as I hold that's all we need but better than that rusty thing sweet let's crack on that's better that just demonstrates them in position that'll do perfect uh, just you know a bit of a uh, wonky's wonderful advice now if ever you're unsure regarding brakes because you do have a lot of springs levers and all sorts so if ever you're unsure just take a snapshot take a photo just so you can remember where everything goes because when you start pulling it to bits basically they look like that and then you go "Ooh, where do we go now so yeah basically just take a picture just to make sure you know how everything looks so that when you put it back together so when you put it back together you've got something you can reference to so as you can see i've took the liberty of cleaning all the brake shoes up um just took a little bit of material off there just to rough them up with a bit of hemorrhage cloth wire brushed all these stripped all this down and uh yeah put it all back together so it, that's all nice and free now that's the bit that works the handbrake so that's all nice and free here is the self adjuster mechanism which I'm just about now to put back together all the pivots are cleaned up all the pivots going nice and easy now and oh we got a visitor hello so before we just assemble it as usual we'll have a little bit of copper grease on the pivots and a little bit in there nothing oh Thank you very much. Say hello, Sally. Hello. <laughs> Bless. Say hello, Toby. You right, mate? Yep. So back to it. Yep. Just put a little bit of copper grease in there um, and on the pivot there so it goes, so it runs nice and free and it doesn't seize up. Obviously, you don't want to put too much on. You don't want it attracting all the dust. So let me just uh, put these together and I'll be with you in a second. And that's a self-adjuster back together. As you can see there. That's now nice free moving and that allows that to adjust. I'm all trying to do this one handed. There we go. Wonderful. Now the idea of these is, is they ratchet out like that and that just locks in place. Now it won't go back. So that would be adjusted out then. 
So right, let's uh, assemble them back onto the back plate and see how we get on. So there's our new wheel cylinder in place. Uh, new brake cable, thought why not, I've got it off. Um, as you can see, all nice and shiny and clean. Um, so all we've got to do now is hook up the uh, brake shoes and put them on. And it can just go on the car then as a complete assembly. And there we have it, there's the assembly, all nice and complete. Um, no cut fingers, no swearing, no f springs gone flying, all good. Um, let's get it on the car, get it connected up with the new brake cable and uh, let's see what happens. And there's the brake shoe assembly all bolted into position and in place. Um, yeah, all looks rather good there. Um, so all that's left to do now is just to clean this drum up and as per usual quite simple little bit of uh, emery cloth you don't need a lot just a little bit and just get rid of the rust you're never going to get rid of all of it but most of it as much as you can when this is this here is just surface rush i think from when i wash the car i don't need to worry about that although the brake cleaner will probably get rid of that for me um so yeah, just a case of deglazing it or de-rusting it and then once that's done, give it a squirt of brake cleaner. Obviously taking care not to get it into the bearing um, and let it dry. It evaporates pretty quick but that's just a quick demonstration of what's left to do so obviously bearings feel okay i'll repack them with grease why not while i'm here while it's off so i don't need to worry about it again so yeah and there we go that's uh this side all back together um all nice and nice and free uh brakes were uh my beautiful assistant has just helped me bleed the brakes up and i can confirm that they are working good so that's this side done put the wheel back on and um I suppose I better start on the other side but you don't need to see a video about that it'll be exactly the same of what it was what I've done here so um, yeah you don't want to see that really so that wraps it up for this week's video or this month's video whichever it's gonna be um, yeah uh, that went really well um, Obviously, I had suspicions that the uh, cylinder was seized anyway, and luckily I got one in stock. Uh, however, if the other side does need one, um, which I don't think it does, because I know um, that side was replaced not so long back, all right, a couple of years ago, but I think that side I can get away with just cleaning it up. Um, but while I'm doing it, I might as well crack on and just get it done. And so that will be it for the brakes. Um, Obviously, I'm putting new brake cables on as well. It makes sense. I've gone this far with the car. It just seems silly now to start putting old parts back on if I'm taking them off. So if I've got them uh, new, I might as well fit them. Um, obviously, I've got all the front brakes to do yet, but that is in another video. Coming soon, I think. Um, so, yeah. Um, I mean, obviously, uh, I would have had Ricky helping me do this um but he's away in the camper van as per usual <laughs> so then right that's it for this video uh hope you've all enjoyed it i uh, hope it's been educational and all that um so yeah nothing more just but thanks for liking subscribing comments you know feel free uh, i'm no expert but you know i'll do my best so see you all again very soon take care bye hello 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 how are we all doing then right um i think on this video we're going to look be doing fuck's sake here we go so that um Mm, no. So that's the end of um, another um, I'll give up mm. Well, I guess the brakes aren't seized anymore <coughs>
<laughs> Whoops. <laughs>